What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is another episode of Main Deck Monday, and we're looking at a Zashian V deck. Uh, since Shining Fates had came out, uh, Zashian's got a cool little promo or a cool little artwork. It's got this uh, black and gold, which I love a lot. I really want to play like Eternatus V and V Max with this full blinged out like black and black gold. It looks really, really sick. Let's see if we can pull up Eternatus real quick. Uh, Eternatus, look at that one. That looks really, really nice. And then, like, that looks really cool. Uh, man, if I could pick up four four of those and, like, real life and play that, that'd be sick. Uh, but with Shining Face, Zashian has gained a new friend. We've partnered this a lot with ADP, of course. But now we have this new card called Rusted Sword. With Zashian V, it gets an additional 30 more damage. So you, so you don't have to waste a GX tech on that. You can just use Zashian V and use the Rusted Sword. So you do 260. Now that opens up some spaces where we could play like a Galarian Berserker. Um, it has the Steely Spirit. We do 20 more damage. So you're looking at like what? 230, 260, 280, 300 very easily uh, with that. And then, of course, with a Leon in this deck, you do 30 more. So you do 330, which can one shot e Eternatus, uh, which is pretty nice. Eternatus. Oh, yes, 340. Never mind. It's 340. Uh, hmm, interesting. So we might play like one Zigzagoon in here, but uh, another thing that we have played in this deck and I've seen other players play it is the one Rallet. Uh, Rallet does 60 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Uh, so if it does get pushed to the bench, um, you, what you can do is you can Wind Shard and knock it out if you have played Bird Keeper. Now the way this works is you can Bird Keeper, uh, send the a rallet to the active and then use that wind shard to hit one of the bench pokemon like the eternatus uh, maybe we'll cut it for a zigzagoon and um, that could be something we could play instead uh, i've seen some let's play nets some not play nets we're actually going for the turbo patch build uh to use the turbo patch and the metal uh saucers to get those Zashi and V's powered up ASAP, so that's what we're going to try to do today. Now, the only reason I can play Galarian Berserker is going to be because of the Galarian Meow. It has Evolution Roar. Discard two cards in your hand to use the ability. Once during a turn, you may search it for Galarian Berserker, reveal it, and put it to your hand. Now, this is nice because it allows you to discard Metal Energies to activate the Metal Saucer and the Turbo Patch if needed. Uh, so, Zashian, Berserker, Leon, Rusted Sword, a bunch of damage modifiers. Rallet to snipe the bench if need to. Or help set up knockouts too. If you can bird keep a turn one and two and you turn it on the bench and then later on swing it to it, that's pretty nice as well. Especially if you're not attaching any energies to it. Uh, you can save those for your Zashians. Uh, so that's what we're doing for. Now we are playing an A slash V. It has a Sonic Edge 130. This attack damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Uh, this is for the Decidu Decidui, um stuff. It could be helpful. We'll see how this works out. I haven't tested it just yet, but I imagine you have a rough match against the Sigui, and that way you can actually knock them out. I imagine the one-up is probably enough to help you because they have to, like, two-shot you. Um, by then you can knock out two of them. Zashi can pick us more knockouts, and hopefully that is good enough because Zashi's going to take quick knockouts to get them while you're firing up a, a slash V on the bench ready to go. We play one Dedini, one Kerbat, one one right now, one Elder Gossary, Sword Card, and one Oranaguru for that primary wisdom. This is going to be really helpful because we are playing four Professor's Research. Um, we're going to discard a bunch of stuff. Oranaguru can help us save the resources if needed. All right, we have two Metal Sauce, or four Metal Sauce and four Trouble Patch. We're trying to get that Zashian V powered up ASAP. Metal Saucer just automatically hits it to one of your bench metal Pokemon. We see Turbo Patch is going to get it to one of your basic Pokemon that isn't a GX. If you have a coin of heads, you can do that. So you have eight ways of getting energies out in turn one. Uh, four Quick Ball to find your basics. Four Switch, of course, because Zashi makes it where you can't attack again next turn. And Switch into like an Air Balloon Pokemon could be very, very nice. A Two Bird Keeper to activate the Rallet. And of course, you get Switch effects as well. And you get to draw three cards. That's pretty cool. We see three boss orders. Um, we are trying to two-shot most of the things in here. And that's okay because we're not playing a three-price deck. I imagine ADP will still be pretty rough. I mean, you could one -shot, if you could one-shot it before they get, power, before they get the uh, Alter Creation off, you might be in an okay spot. Uh, we play three boss order, two Leon. Of course, do an extra 30 damage. Marnie for somewhat disruption. You can probably cut this for maybe stamps. Um, we'll see how this goes. Four research. Two air balloon for that free retreat. Anybody that has two retreat costs or less. I think the, that has two... One, 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 three. So Angel Slash is the one that can't really use it. Even Berserker can use it, so that's pretty nice. Uh, we see the Rest of Sword. This is going to go on our Zostium V, so we do additional 30 damage to the active. Two coatings. We have um, no weakness. Now, we could probably cut this, because I imagine Cinti's probably just a hard matchup in general. We could probably like 12. Um, one thing that we could probably cut is maybe the Air Balloons, if we want to add in Nets and Zigzagoon or something like that. 
just realized we do 330, not 340 to knock out a Eternatus, and that seems pretty rough. Uh, but we'll see how this goes. We are two sharding them, and when they knock us out, they're only taking two brace cards, or we're taking three. And then, of course, like I said, we can set up with the Rallets and stuff like that. Uh, so let's hop into some games here, play this deck, and see how this goes. It, it has a lot of hype, especially when ADP rotates. Um, Zashian will drastically be like one of the best decks. Um, of course, right now you play with ADP just because you have the additional price card taken. And also, if you're in a tournament that it is, or you're playing with the tournaments that banned ADP, uh, you can play this instead, uh, which is pretty cool. So. He has seen some play with it. It hasn't seen a lot. It, like, the first weekend it came out, it had a lot of play, and then it pretty much died off. I guess it, it wasn't as good as people, like, expected it to be. Um, but then also, Ruts and Sword um, also makes it where ADP gets even stronger, um, which is something we maybe will cover one day. I'm not going to cover it right now. We'd just rather cover Speed at Zacian with Ruts and Sword. So, we'll see how that goes. We'll see. Wait for opponent to choose an active Pokemon. Okay. Let's we'll see what they're playing. So, uh, of course, you want to go second with this deck. Um, I guess you could maybe go first and just kind of blow off a turn two as well. That could be something we could do here. Um, hmm. Got the Snorlax, Eevee Coin, Pokeball Sleeves. Let's see what happens here. Do, do, do. And they are taking a second to sign what they want to do here. Um, and I haven't watched too many videos on this, so I'm not sure what the bad matchups are. I imagine, you know, maybe sit to Scorch because they have weakness, but then they're VMAX, and we could potentially one-shot them, so that would be pretty nice. Uh, and with coding, they, maybe they can't one-shot us if we're lucky. Uh, the thing about the coding is if you discard it, you can't get it back, uh, so that's a big deal there. Uh, we do start Zashin Fee. Our hand is not optimal right now, and when we top deck a, um, a Galarian Meowth, we can like discard it to find the Berserker and get like energies. And they give it a Turbo Patch, it does go to the active, while Metal Saucer only goes to the bench metal Pokemon. Uh, so that is something to notate as well. And also, we have the Trusted Intrepid Sword, so we can Metal Intrep Intrepid Sword, go from there, and uh, see what happens. We'll probably put down the H slash V uh, just in case we don't, so we don't get like Daunt if we are playing against something crazy. Uh, but it looks like Ted1986 is taking a second, and we won the game. Okay. Uh, can we see what they're even playing? Whoa, Josh, what the heck? You are in expanded right now. Okay, let's let's go ahead and uh glad we didn't play that game. That was weird. Whoops. Alright, let's go back to standard. I forget to switch them back and forth. Y'all probably saw expanded version. I'm like, what are you doing? Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. Back to standard format. Okay. That would have been fun to play against. I mean I think they would have probably like destroyed us. Cause like they're two shotting us, and we're taking one price card. Uh, yeah, I think that would have went in their favor for sure. Mm. I imagine Blount is probably a pretty difficult matchup, just like I said before, because they're gonna like easily one shot us, and we're taking like one price card. And that's like the good thing about um, ADP is like you can like take two price cards against that. Uh, so our hand is like not. Oh no, no, it's okay. It's okay. We got this guy. We can maybe start this guy, and that way we can switch to this guy and be okay. But we'll see. Colossal. Oh, I selected to go first. I'm about a Pokemon. We'll go here to here. Draw some. We'll go Air Balloon into Intrepid Sword. Okay. And I guess this is still fine. Um... Yeah, it's okay. Air Balloon. Swell. Oh, we could put Swell in this deck too, but like, you either play Swell or you play something else, and I wasn't really too worried about Swell, so I didn't put Swell in this deck, so. Now, right now, it looks like we have a pretty cool turn. We could put down, like, you know, quick this. Uh, we'll see. Because we can grab Dedini or we can grab another um, Meowth. What's Sinta Course VMAX HP? Let's see here. No, not Santa Scorch. That's not Santa Scorch. That's Colossal. Whoa. We're going to knock this guy out. Oh, 100% going to knock this guy out now. Uh, 330. Okay. So let's go. Uh, quick the metal. Do I just grab Dedini? 
Well, Bird Keeper? Let's go. Sword, Saucer. Let's go. Zashian. Into Dedini. Yup. Discarded two switch is pretty bad. And we got the energy, so we can go here. We could put down Meowth and take the knockout. And my opponent would be so far behind. We had, well, we didn't really have a way to take a knockout then, but we would have took two price cards. Uh, and then they couldn't attack for another two turns. So uh, we, we were just so fast. Yeah. Maybe going first is correct. Because, like, if you get the turn two knockout, then you're looking really good. So maybe going first is probably the correct play. Like, yeah, we can't get that turn one attack, but I don't think that's going to happen that often. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, zero zero Nico JK calling the coin flip. Yeah, you maybe you just go first. I think that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna go first and see how that works. Then you draw the hands like this. And you're like, okay, maybe we should win second. We'll see. We have to draw a card that Orger puts money on top of the deck, so we'll see what happens. <clears throat> The problem is we hit both Berserkers, um, which is kind of upsetting. So, press done. Look at that. We can go rusted the bench. Oh, metal goggles. Okay, metal energy. So two thirty minus thirty, but the rusted sword. Oh, let's go. Let's get this knockout. Okay. We got the rusted. We can primate wisdom. Do we need the berserker? I don't think we need the berserker. I'd rather dig with it, right? So I'd rather go Primate Wisdom. A Dadini. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna dump the hand. Okay, so we get the Air Balloon. We get this. Get down Zashian. We can to Dini. All right, and we got it. Put that there. Retreat. Brave Blade. All right. So, I mean, maybe going versus okay. I mean, put it there. Play Sporter Cards turn one, so. Uh, that's the cool thing about sword against uh, goggles is we still have enough damage to knock them out. But if they if they get the the Lucario playoff, then you have to get the meow. You have to get the berserker down, but then you still counter it with just a one, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, so it's pretty cool that you can do that at any time. All right, so let's go again. Exciting times. So that was pretty cool. That was pretty good. All right, let's see what here. Call heads. So we Colossal. We beat Luke Metal. Uh, yeah, we'll go first. I, I think going for, Yeah, let's just go first. Let's go for it. Yeah, because look, look, look at this hand. Look at this hand. Now, we don't balloon a Zashian. I mean, we could. We could. We could balloon, we could balloon it. We could. And then Crowback can draw some cards. Hmm. See what happens here, though. Mewtwo and Mew. Okay, with Zark and Rebel Clash. Doesn't tell me anything. Doesn't tell me anything. So, Zigzagoon. Okay. We can Air Balloon for Free Tree for next turn. Still seems pretty good. Air Balloon for two, oh, for one. Metal into Intrepid Sword. And we get the Metal Energy for Zerker next turn, which we can't use any. 
And um, we've got two energy turn one on Brave Blade. So if we top deck energy, we're looking pretty good. We can just like Brave Blade somebody up, take a knockout, Grave Ball, go to look at top seven, and show me Blissethion, and I just cry, right? Because I feel like that's a bad matchup. Crobat V. So most likely it's going to be Eternatus if that's the plan, right? Now, if this is the plan, then maybe we have. Um, Maybe we have a plan here. Maybe we have a plan. Crowback gonna do some setting up there. I mean, if we top deck an if we top deck an energy, we're just gonna like boss this guy off and take a knockout and just like be happy, right? And then another zigzagoon. Zigzagoons don't really bother me too much. Pass it to our turn. Okay, what we find here? We find a metal. Oh my goodness, bro! Stop! I'm so sorry, opponent. Just don't misclick, Josh. Yo, going down to four already. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. One and two. All right, so we're like already super far ahead. Now we really can't like do that play again next turn, but um, we can do some shenanigans, I imagine, right? We'll see what we could do here. Another Eternatus comes down. Did he just top deck that? I wonder, I don't know. Quick ball, discard the metal energy. Crobat. So, like, the plan is we knock out this guy, and then he gets this guy powered up and swings it to us, right? And then we have another Zashi that powers up to swing into this, another one to pick it up. I, I think that's the play right now, and we look really good. Uh, heads, okay. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Pass on our turn. Okay. First things first. Man, if we had a switch in hand. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's go Bird Keeper the Crowbat V. Let's go here. Let's go this for this. Oh, I could smack him with a Rowlet this turn. Hmm. That forced him to have Boss Order Energy Switch. Maybe do this play. We go here. Because we Bird Keep already, so retreat to here. Let's go, let's, let's, do we attach? Yeah, sure, let's attach. Let's not attach. Let's wind shard, do 60 to this guy. Okay. <clears throat> because next turn we get energy, metal saucer, bring this guy up. Yeah, this seems pretty cool. So hiding gets attached to that, switch it to the Eternatus. Marnie, all right, no boss order, but he does put a lot back in my deck, uh, which is, I guess, okay. Might, we might bird keeper this turn. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. All right, building on the spite comes down. So he has 280. So 230, 260. Okay, so we we need it to somehow get this rusted sword off. Can we talk to Kazashi in here? Metal saucer. I hate that we don't have a research in this girl, pal. Oh, let's go here to Eldegoss for Marnie. Let's Marnie. I think it's probably the best way right here to do. Maybe, yes. I think it's the best way right here. So, like I said, we're going to be able to swing this turn, and we have to, like... So he has to swing with this guy this turn, right? Can we find a follow-up knockout? We have to find back-to-back follow-up follow -up knockouts as well. Okay, so there's a Marnie, which is good because her hand was not the greatest. <laughs> Can Berserker take a knockdown on this guy? Why would you play the hammer here? I guess so you can curb at some. Seems pretty wasteful. To each their own. I don't know what Berserker needs. Can Berserker knock out this guy? If we had a second, 
Rowlet, we can knock out this guy. I mean, Meowth can also just knock out this guy eventually. So we see a Dread in here, which is very interesting. So send up, oh, send up Crobat on our turn. Oh, he needs three energies. Well, uh, I think we lose here. If he needed two energies, we could knock him out this turn. Um, Float up needs two regular energies. Saucer can't go to it. I mean, I can go this, 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 retreat, and scratch. Okay, this is what I was worried about. Turn seems like kind of hard, and especially if he retreats here. Yup. He hasn't played a boss sword yet either. Told you. All right, let's see. He could just fall up in the main. So he goes down. To, oh, he goes down to one. Oh, that's game. I, it's like checkmate for us. I can't find a way to survive next turn, unfortunately. Um. Oh yeah. What, the two tree? Yeah, we'll go here to here. So maybe if we played, I still don't think, like, I'm under the impression that you can maybe play, um, what is it? You can maybe play a Zamazenta, but I, I think the Zamazenta is probably still not enough to uh, take a knockout or to help out in the matchup too much. Uh, that's my big thing. So well, Evolutionary War, I can even attack this turn. Unfortunately. Right, we're gonna get a lot here, but not enough because the other crowbat's already down, so. Right. Yeah, if we had Zamazenta here, we could maybe sit down the Zamazenta and go about it that way. Uh, it's a pretty weird game. Uh, we didn't hit the research at the right time. I don't know, do we play it wrong sometime? It just seems very hard to like hit that high of a number. I, I think also we just whiffed it a little bit. Uh, we didn't play like really even our resources and we just didn't hit them. Um, I still think the correct play was like, that rally play was probably still the best play, right? I feel like it is. All right, let's play one more last game with this deck. Okay, so we're starting off hot here. I mean, we're doing pretty good. We got, you know, energy. We got a trap of sword. Bird keeper for next turn if we need to with a switch to draw more cards. We see another Tartanus. Okay, so we go here to Intrepid Sword, and we did not hit an energy. This is when I was talking about earlier. The coding seems very, very cool, but then like you do this, and you're like, okay, well I whiffed it, so that's unfortunate. Great Ball, um, an Absol. Okay, well that's not too bad. Okay, switch to the Absol, so he's gonna protect his Eternatus. I'll switch back to the Eternatus. Okay. Right, Kerbat comes down. So he's doing a Kerbat for three to find an energy this turn. Oh, okay, he's on another Kerbat. Okay, so he wants to make sure he finds an energy this turn. He can also play Marnie, Research, all that kind of fun stuff as well. But if we knock out this guy, and then like this guy can take another knockout, and then we go to two before he starts swinging, will look really cool. Uh, quick, the Krogon. I imagine we'll see a Slower V come out. Um, hiding energy into, nope, nothing, okay. Research, dump in the hand, discard a Tox or Croak, okay. Two switch are gone already, but that's okay. Um, he really needs an energy attachment, and there he goes. Okay, so di he didn't find a hiding, so he can't retreat here. Does he have a dark city or whatever it's called to get that for retreat? No, they, a, a Krogon has hit the field. He could just retreat to Krogon, oh uh, no, which was the power accelerated, which is a fine play. It gets this guy an energy. All right, so we see a Leon. This is not an optimal hand here, uh, for sure. Um, so let's quick a boss order. Oh, discard a switch. Seems fine. Now I could go for the Rowlet, smack this guy. That's 70 HP. I can go to Orguru. I 
I'm gonna go Orin Guru to dig. So Orin Guru Bird Keeper. Alright. Let's go Rusted Sword. Hmm. Let's go coding. Let's go Primal Wisdom. Metal Saucer. Metal Energy. Oh boy. Okay. Alright, let's see what happens. Hopefully we top deck a metal energy and we just like boss order one of these two eternities up to knock it out. That's my plan now. I don't know if it's gonna work. Pierce, very nice. Energy and a dark Pokemon. Okay. So this will grant him the V Max and a Dark Energy. So Oinger will definitely fall this turn. Capture energy as well. So you can search for another uh, Slowbro, maybe. Maybe another Krogaunt. Capture energy. Very, very cool. Alright, there is a Krogon coming down. Quick Ball. Discard the Dark Energy. Crobat. The good thing is, <clears throat> we have game on board as long as he doesn't Marnie us, because we can, like, Boss order, like, this turn and this turn. Boss order, Crobat, Boss order, Crobat. It's still, like, very hard to do that. Okay, he kind of... No, no, no. He, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think we still go after the, the Eternatus. Right? Yeah, we go after the Eternatus. And just hope we can, like, keep up somehow. Like, I, I don't think this is going to happen, but we'll see. All right, there is a Meow. Hmm. Boss sort of the Eternatus. We will Evolution Roar. I can't one shot with the Leons either way. Right? Press done. We can switch one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we still didn't have enough. Well, no metal energies. That's upsetting. Yeah, we didn't have enough to do what I want to do. Oh, we're gonna lose this game now. Okay, 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 okay. What the heck? What did I just click? What did I just click? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. We lost the game. Like, yeah, we lost the game. Okay, let's try one more time. All right, so maybe we found a weak spot, and that's Eternatus, because I, I, I don't see how we beat that deck. Like, I, I, like you had to get super lucky to beat them, right? Maybe it's Ashen V. Maybe this is why it's Ashen V. Hello. Hello there, opponent. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna go first. That's fine. Maybe it's Ashen V is not as good as we thought it was gonna be. Hmm. Maybe we don't need all the turret patches and stuff like that. Okay. Let's see here. Well, that's pretty good. Go here, coating, trepid. Okay. <clears throat> Well, the good thing is, well, see, so, yeah, so this will be our first single price matchup. So we already know we were pretty bad against Eternatus. Like, that's a pretty rough matchup. So. Like, you need so much to one-shot them, and they just, they just need two energies. Like, it seems so bad. Maybe. You ready? Ready? Maybe you put hammers in this deck. Maybe you play hammers in here. And that's how it beat Eternatus. I know that sounds so bad, but it, it could be true. We could just play, like, just four hammers and just, like, spam hammers and just, like, disrupt our opponent. So, it could be a thing for sure, right? I mean, I, I don't see why it couldn't work. So, let's go here. Let's go Orin Guru. 
That's Oranguru, uh, Prime of Wisdom, the Berserker on top of the deck. Uh, do we have a metal energy to discard pile? We do. So let's go metal, Zashian into research. Turbo patch. Well then, that's not good. All right, so the quick, uh, the thing, the thing I'm gonna try to do is attack with Berserker against this deck uh, because it does get the boosted HP. That is something we could do against this matchup. Turbo patch, let me down. Twenty twenty one. Uh, DCE research three five six one hundred twenty. Not enough yet. Looks like our LD will maybe stay alive. We'll see here. Uh, it's a great ball that could find him a Dini, and then he can go about it that way. But if he does that, then I'm definitely um da -da -da. we're definitely like yeah six HP. That's good. We have this guy. That's pretty cool. Air balloon. Evolution Incense, Mr. Rhyme, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 140 right now. But he's going to be able to dig some, and he's got the Wisdom. The Wisdom. He could one-shot us here, and that would be very, very, very bad for us. Um, we don't have resistance to Psychic. Why does Metal not have resistance to Psychic? That's so weird. Why are we resistant to Grass? Like, uh, I don't know. Quick, the Rhyme. Define Didini. Is that what's going to happen? I think that's what he does here. Oh no, Bunnelby. Okay, that's not a good We'd also can attack with uh, Rallet as well in this matchup. So, Rallet could pull some weight in here. Let's see Crowbat gonna draw some cards. Okay, well Crowbat find him the Dini to discard stuff. Great ball. There's a Poltegeist, okay. There's an Air Balloon. Tea break. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I think the plan is to knock out this. Oh, he's got three, four, five. He's got 108. He's got, uh, he's got, oh, 160. He doesn't have enough right now. Right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's 160. Uh, there we go. The DD's going to get it. But when he benches his Didini, that now gives his Axis to knock out a second guy. So that's pretty cool. Evolution Instance. So he's going to take a knockout. we got to somehow power this guy up this turn. <clears throat> Alright. Mad Partying. 180. But can he one-shot the Zashi next turn? Probably. Probably. We'll see. On our turn. Well, air balloon. Let's attach return. Boss order of a Dini. Uh, let's primalism the berserker. We need to save one of these. We can metal saucer. This, this. We get to shuffle the deck now. So it's not on top. Oh, we get a cry too. Oh man. Whoops. Okay. Yep, we'll do two. Oh, we'll take a knock ahead going down to four. One. Bird Keeper. All right, there we go. Age of Slash. Age of Slash doesn't matter. We can discard that. That guy's going up. Another Another one. Nine. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Poltegeist. Okay. So he's doing 200. All right, that's 10. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So he's doing 10 right now. I didn't want to knock out any of these guys because then he gets more boosted. Oh, he gets another tea break. And that's 220. So he has enough for a knockout this turn. Toll Scrapper. Get rid of my balloon. Thank you. Appreciate that. Well, looks like we lost this one, guys. I warned you this one was going to be hard. I, I knew this was going to be hard. So, we're just full of losses today. I mean, we did take two not, two games, like, because we just donked them, which I think is the advantage of Zashi and B, because you just set up so quickly. 
Like with ADP, you have to play like water and stuff like that. Oh, they're gonna discard the, the Crobat too. So that's that's like you know that's that's game. Like I don't see us winning from there. Like that's terrible. So, oh well. All right, we're gonna try to take a knockout with Meowth. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, I mean with the uh, Berserker. So go with Meowth on our turn. Do we prize? Oh no, the one Dedenis in the discard pile. Ugh. Maybe we need two Dedenis. I don't know. Um, anyways, let's see how we do this. We can, like, Metal Energy, Switch. Uh, yeah, he's got Knockout with the Bundle with the Energy, unfortunately. So let's go Switch, Metal. Let's go Evolutionary Roar, one and two. Let's grab ourselves the... Berserker. I mean, we do have enough resources to do this play. Berserker comes down, comes down here. And I'm actually just going to research the hand. Um, well, we didn't get enough energies either way. Primate Wisdom, a boss order. All right, we need a heads here. Oh, that would have been perfect because we get a switch into this guy, swing for 90, take a knockout, and then he's forced to swing into this guy unless he has boss order. Well. Upsetting. Either way, um Oh he said it will play. He has the uh he has the boss order. So either way, that that exile like discarding was like pretty nice. So, yeah, so we would have lost either way. So Alright guys, there we go. I'm done playing this deck. Maybe it's not as good. Maybe it's not as good. It's not as good. Maybe the list is kind of wonky as well. Um, I think the big changes we can make is maybe play a Zamazenta, but is one Zamazenta enough to get around Eternatus? That's the big question. Uh, we could maybe play Hammers, and that could help us out against Eternatus as well. Uh, like, the, the Rattle is, like, okay. Like, we cut this. We can go, like, you know, free up some spots there. There's three already, like, if you want to get rid of that stuff. Um... Because imagine, like, 4-2, we could play, like, another one of these or something. Like, I don't know. Leon didn't see any play at all. Like, you're constantly, like, drawing cards, so maybe Leon's, like, not worth it either. And then you can put a 4 hammer in there, and then, like, like, just go, like, right? I don't know. Maybe something like this instead. And maybe somehow find, like, a... Uh, we, we played two dudes. We had front one prize last game. I thought we played two. We just didn't see it. I mean, maybe we try this out instead and then, like, go super aggro, like, Zashian V, Berserker, and just, like, try to hammer away, like, against Eternatus. Um, maybe. There's a lot of unknowns here. Maybe the coding is probably not worth it either, right? I think, like, against Sinti, you just, like, just go crazy, right? You just two shot a Sinti or something? I don't know. There's a lot of thinking you have to do with this deck. Um,. And this is day one of me testing it. We'll see if there's more uh, tournaments with this list and see if like, any Zashian Vs do good, and they do, then we'll definitely talk about it in the future. Uh, but maybe this is what we end up right now with Zashian V, like the Hammer Variant to beat Eternatus. Like I said, you can play Zamazenta and then cross your fingers and hope that's enough, but usually, like, it's not. Like, uh, I don't think it's enough. You could. You could try and see how that works. But, like, they, they play, like, either Spear Tunes, maybe Evil Soul, and they play, like, Poison stuff now. And we didn't even get to play like any of the real decks. Like Pika, I guess like Eternatus is probably like Eternatus is like coming like better and better rise every single day. Like the more I see Eternatus, the more I'm like, okay, this deck can beat Eternatus if you play Hammer. So maybe like Eternatus is like secretly the BDIF and we just don't know it yet. Hmm. Anyway, so enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow for Rogue Tuesday. Alrighty. Bye.